so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can create that kind of cool stone material in blender with the help of the node setup so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and here you can see guys that is very easy setup of the nodes basically here you can see we have uh, some basic node setup here and i'm just going to talk about each and everything how you can use these nodes and how you can create that kind of cool and fabulous material so let's start it so first of all i just want to rid of this material from here I just want to delete this pair pressing the delete so right now we don't have any material in our scene so first of all we have to just add one material pressing the new and then we will see this principal psdf from here I just want to drag it little bit up so you can easily see what's going on here so first of all I just want to delete this principal psdf and I just want to add one material it's called basically magic texture and I will just plug this magic texture FAC into our surface so we will see something like that so we'll just add one more material it's called basically glossy uh, BSDF okay and then I will just plug this glossy BSDF into our surface panel so right now we don't have any extra slot to plug this glossy BSDF so we'll just need one material it's called basically a mix shader so I will just add one mix shader in between here and then I will just plug this uh, FAC to our FAC so right now we will see totally black so we will just uh, duplicate this uh, material from here to here then I will just plug this BSDF into our shader panel and then I will just plug this material to here to here so we will see something like that so right now we have to just change one setting from this our glossy BSDF to the GGX so we will see something like that so right now we can't see any changes but uh, what we have to do we have to just add some extra node to create that kind of material which is i have shown you before so i will just add one uh, material and one shader it's called basically vonoid texture and then i will just uh, plug this distance into our vector so we'll see something like that so first of all we have to just change some setting i will just change that fac into our distance to edge so we'll see something like that and that look little closer what we want basically okay then we'll just add some extra node as well so what we have to add basically so we have to just add uh, one node it's called basically a gamma okay and i will just add one gamma node here and then i will just plug this distance into our color and i will just plug this color into our fac so here you can see we'll see something like that okay so right now we can't see any changes happening in our scene and we add the almost our nodes but we have to do some uh, extra setting from here so what we have to do basically we have to just decrease this scale first of all then we have to just increase little roughness from here okay then we have to just increase the scale value from here to here okay and then we have to do one more thing we have to just add one texture coordinate into our one way texture i will just press the control t and we'll just change our uh, texture coordinate as an object so we'll see something like that so right now we'll see something like that but we can't see exactly what we want so for that what we have to do we have to just move this node into here to here so we'll see something like that and that's look a little closer what we want exactly so we have to just decrease the scale first of all i think that much scale is look fine to me and now we can just play with the our magic texture scale so here you can see that is our magic texture scale basically and that is our distortion so we have to just play with the these distortion and uh, settings so i will just put this as a 16 and i will just uh, increase this as a 20 so it will look like this so now we have to just decrease our depth to the zero but still we can't see any kind of displacement in our object so for that what we have to do we have to just plug this distance to our displacement and we'll see something like that and that's look fine by the way you have to do that last setting and we'll see something like that and that's look great here you can see we have to just decrease the scale from here okay we can decrease and increase the scale we can decrease this and increase the scale from here as well and here you can see we have a perfect uh, stone texture that's look fine and here you can see that's look fine from here you can increase and decrease the color of that stone basically but 07 is look fine to me that's why i just plug the 07 okay so that's how you can create that kind of stone material guys that is easy and cool trick which is i thought i should share with you and i hope you also enjoy this video and you also learn something new today so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys